for the same DCT 2018 under the branch computer science and engineering the question paper code is A now this time I selected subject web programming in DCT 2018 they asked 10 questions okay in that the question number 171 a HTML is a subset of we have four options HGMT, HGML, HGMD and XML for question number 171 the second option that is HTML is the right answer. Why? Because a HTML is the subset of HGML. HGML where S represents the standard, G represents the generalized, M represents the markup, L represents the language. Okay. HTML means standard generalized markup language. Similarly, a HTML hypertext markup language. H represents hyper, T represents text, M represents markup, L represents language. A HTML is a subset of HTML. This HTML is used to create web pages and web applications and it is static in nature. Okay. Static. It is static in nature. Why? Because it is only used to display the data okay the another one is xml okay this is also a subset this is also a subset of sgml xml is also a subset of sgml okay xml means extensible markup language it is also used to create the web pages and web applications but it is in dynamic in nature okay why because it is mainly used to transport the data from one database to another database this language is mainly used to data transport from one memory location to another memory location or we can say one database to another database So for question number 171, second one is the right option. Similarly, a XML for question number 174, XML. We have four options. The first one is can be used as the database. The second one is cannot be used as database. The third one, XML is not a database and it is a language. And the fourth option is XML is used to construct the symbol table. As we know that XML is also a subset of HGML. It is also a one language that is also used to create the web pages and web applications. But only thing is that it transfers the data from one database to another database. So it is a language but not a database. So for question number 174, the third option is the right option. Question number 172, which of the following tag is used to mark a beginning of a paragraph? We have four options, TD tag, BR tag, P tag and the fourth one is TP. For question number 172, the third option P tag is the right answer. Why? Because a P tag is used to define a paragraph. Similarly, a BR tag defines the line break and TD tag defines the column of a cell in a table. So for question number 172, the third option that is P tag is the right answer. Move on to question number 173. A DTD begins with the word. We have four options hash, PC data, XML, doc type, and HTTPS. For question number 173, the third one that is doc type is the right answer. DTD means document type definition. It is in the form of doc type, doc type HTML, doc type HTML. This instruction tells the tells to the web browser that which version of web pages is using in. Okay. This instruction tells to the web browser that what version of what version of web page is using. Okay. What version of web page is using. So for question number 173, doc type is the right answer. Question number 175. How many root element can an XML document have? We have four options 2, 1, 3, and 5. A XML document can have 
only one root element and it encloses all other elements consider for example a diploma it is one tag and we already know that whatever the tags we are used in the xml document are all of user defined only okay but in html we use a predefined tags but in uh, xml document we are using a user defined tags okay a diploma is one tag a branch is also one another tag okay sem 6m sem is also one element or one tag okay and we close the root tag or root element that is diploma okay this is the xml program in this xml a diploma is the root element a diploma is the root element and branch and sem are the just elements okay a xml document can have only one root element but in the in this example diploma is the root element branch and sem are the just elements so for question number 175 the second option one is the right answer question number 176 what will be the output of the following php code this is the php code a php code starts with less than question mark php and it ends with question mark greater than symbol okay and echo echo and print these are the two statements that are used to display the data but in this code we are using print statement so that whatever we written inside the double quotes that will be displayed on the screen so echo hello world is displayed on the screen so for question number 176 the second option that is echo hello world is the right answer move on to question number 177 who is the father of php we have four options rasmus lerdrop the second one is willem make peace the third one is drek kolkevi and the fourth one is list berle for question number 177 the first option that is rasmus lerdrop is the father of php okay so for question number 177 the first option is the right option question number 178 a php numerically indexed array begin with dash position we have four options minus 1 2 0 and the 1 what is meant by indexed array a indexed array is the type of array in which array elements are stored with respect to indexed position and it always starts from zeroth position only okay this is the php code and php code always starts from lesser than symbol question mark php and it always ends with question mark greater than symbol here a student is the variable in php code a variable always starts from dollar symbol so we are using dollar symbol okay here array is the function in array function we are we are having a uh, elements array elements like php java and python okay this is the first array element and its position is 0 this is the second array element and its position is 1 and this is the third array element and its position is 2 okay in order to display the first array element php we are using the a uh, output statement echo okay and a student is the array variable in that we are using zeroth position because we want to display the first array element first for first array element its position is zeroth position so we are writing zero here so in output we get php okay similarly when you write 2 inside the square bracket then you get python at the output because 
second is the position for third array element so a php numerically indexed array begins with zeroth position it always begins with zero position question number for question number 178 the third option zero is the right answer for question number 179 which inbuilt function will add a value to the end of an array we have four options array and shift function the second one is into array function and the third one is in and in and array function and the fourth one is array push function for question number 179 the fourth option that is array push function is the right answer why because by using array push function we can insert one or more array elements to the end of an array okay this is the general syntax for writing array push function in this function we have array okay for this array we are adding the elements like v1 v2 v3 up to vn and this is the php code and we already know that a php code always starts from lesser than symbol question mark and php and it ends with question mark and greater than symbol here a is the variable in php a variable always starts from dollar symbol and this is the array function in this array function we have array elements like red and green okay we have array elements like red and green these are the two array elements okay by using this is the array push function here we are adding blue and yellow elements to the to this a variable array okay here we are adding blue and yellow elements array elements to the to the a variable array so at the end of at the end of a variable array we are getting red green then blue and yellow before we have only red and green are the array elements of a after using array push function we have another two array elements 